Now let us see the syllabus of the first two chapters. The first chapter is about the analysis of the algorithms. So a lot of the topics we have already studied. So this is kind of a revision of some of the topics. The first chapter is about analysis of algorithms. In analysis of algorithms, we are going to study asymptotic analysis, what is the worst case, the best case and average case type complexities. Then analysis of loops, how to solve recurrence relations and what is amortized analysis. Then we will be studying pseudo polynomial algorithms. Then we will be studying the concept of NP completeness and then polynomial time approximation scheme and there are some examples in the problems for the analysis. So this is a kind of lightweight chapter but there are some of the topics which will be new for you uh, which will be covered here. And the second chapter is about the searching and sorting algorithms. There are some searching, searching and sorting algorithms which you already know but there are some additional searching and sorting algorithms which I have included in this particular chapter. So this is, see uh, we are, it is not just about knowing the concepts, we are also going to implement all these things uh, in the programming languages in uh, the various uh, code compilers which we are going to use uh, in the programming languages, okay. So for searching and sorting algorithms, the first one is the linear search, binary search, jump search, uh, this will be new for you, jump search, interpolation search, exponential search and ternary search. Then uh, for sorting algorithms, we will be discussing all the selection sort, insertion sort, bubble sort, merge sort, quick sort, these are uh, fairly old for you. Uh, but some of the so sorting algorithms like we have bucket sort, shell sort, counting sort, comb sort, pigeonhole sort and cycle sort. So they may be new to you. Some of the universities are already covering the sorting algorithms like bu bucket sort, uh, shell sort, etc, etc. But still we are going to add some sorting algorithms uh, with this. Then we are going to compare all the sorting algorithms uh, with one other. That is how, uh, which sorting algorithm is better as compared to the other sorting algorithm. Then uh, we will be having stability in sorting algorithm. What is stability and which of the following sorting algorithm is considered as a stable sort in place and out place. And then we'll be having the comparison between the sorting algorithms and there are some alternative methods like for example the merge sort and quick sort they are originally designed for arrays but can you implement merge sort and quick sort in terms of uh, uh, linked list but uh, just it is just not about implementing it is about implementing efficiently so this is merge sort for the link uh, linked list we'll be discussing with the Sing, single linked list as well as for the doubly linked list. Then we'll be having iterative quick sorts. Then we'll be having quick sort on uh, linked list. Uh, that is for singly and doubly linked list. Then uh, we'll be discussing about some uh, searching uh, algorithms. For for example, do you want can can you search for the kth smallest element or kth largest element uh, in an array? So this uh, kth smallest element it, it is just like you have an unsorted array inside this unsorted array can you find out the 10th smallest element or can you find out the kth smallest element but the entire operation should be efficient. Then we have the closest pair from two uh, sorted arrays then we will be discussing about the common elements in the three sorted arrays which should be efficient. Then um, we will be discussing about the problem set to given a sorted array find the pair in array whose sum is closest, closest to x some particular value which is x then uh, search uh, is almost search in almost sorted array this is almost sorted uh, it is not an entirely sorted array it is almost sorted array then we will be discussing about the sort arrays in waveform and then after this we will be taking some problems of uh, some quizzes based on sorting and uh, these three chapters will be very light as compared to other chapters so let us discuss about the next few chapters for uh, uh, this particular course.